Hi, Christy in the Rady Kitchen, and I'd like to share with you a way to make simple tomato juice out of your um, fresh tomatoes that maybe you grew or you got them at the farmer's market. Um, I got this out of a recipe book we offer. It's called Fresh to Freezer. Um, has cucumbers, peaches, green beans, corn, um, every fruit and vegetable you can think of that you don't have to do hot water baths or canning, you just simply put them in the freezer. And this one's really simple. Um, you don't have to peel the tomatoes or core them. All you do is slice the tomatoes into wedges. And put the wedges in a saucepan. And this is the Rada tomato slicer. No kitchen is complete without it. Our second best seller behind the Perry knife, and I think it would be our best seller, it just hasn't been out as long as the regular Perry knife. So as you can see, those teeth cut right through that skin. So if you have soft tomatoes, it's not going to smash them. So you could slice super thin tomatoes. This also works great on uh, crusty breads, onions, just about anything. Alright, so we have our tomatoes in a saucepan. We're going to simmer these on the stove for about 10 to 15 minutes. So this is how the tomatoes look after you've cooked them for about 10 to 15 minutes and they're ready. You want to let them cool slightly and then they'll be ready to put through the strainer. So I'm just using a, a regular strainer. You could use a colander, a strainer, a sieve. Um, if you don't like um, seeds in it, you might want to put cheesecloth in it. So then you just pour your tomatoes from the pan to the strainer. And then just keep stirring it around and you, you can see all the juice coming out. So I like to stir and press. And what you're going to end up with are the peelings and the stems. And in your bowl, you'll have the juice. So you can throw away the peelings and stems, put it on your compost pile. Um, on the farms, we used to feed it to the pigs. <laughs> so then you can season the tomato juice. I like to use a little sea salt. Give it a little taste test. And now it's ready to serve. You can cool it. Um, you could put it in jars or freezer bags and freeze it to use in chilies um, or to drink like that. Um, it'll store for 12 months in the freezer. And that's how to make simple tomato juice. You can cool it and serve it fresh or you can store it in the freezer in glass jars that leave at least a half inch headspace or in these handy freezer bags that you could store flat takes up less space in your freezer. That's just one of the vegetables you can freeze in our fresh to freezer methods and recipes cookbook.